No enemy should suffer a fate such as compression. Unless it's by Snoo Snoo, then it's perfectly fine. There we are. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Update. Check for actual, uh, actual addition. Actually, additions failed. Check clogs. Weird. Okay, why are the doors broken? And why is it all 3D? Uh, welcome to Forever Stranded. Uh, this is a modded version of Minecraft. Is this because I put a texture pack on? Oh, I know what it is. There we go. Got it. Really? Okay, whatever. I'm just going to ignore that. But welcome to Forever Stranded. But I originally saw this be played by the Yachtscast years. Oh, there's not enough items years ago, and I'm actually really excited to play it myself. Um, this is a semi-hardcore survival game. Uh, pff, game. <laughs> quest complete. Gathering saplings. Ah, yes. The quest. The quest book. Each one of these gives us a different level of questing and just kind of helps guide us through the mod pack itself. This, I, I don't really know what to say. I'm excited for this. I originally watched the uh, Yodscast. How the hell did I almost forget them? I originally watched the Yodscast uh, play this mod pack and I'm really excited to try this out. Ooh. Okay, so this is the quest system if you don't know i'm gonna get these and this for completing this uh, i'm gonna get these items some experience uh and the console command okay i guess that was the console command thank you Ooh, loot chest a hey, somewhat good it's nether well i guess it's from the nether so good enough Unlike uh, mods like the Twilight Force and our such things, this one's very um, secluded to say the least. No other dimensions. Well, actually, I think there are some other dimensions, but they're not exactly relevant right now. Right now, we need to survive, which means right now. Ooh, is this how you access, access it normally? Right now, I need to pick a new quest to work on. I'm sorry, this. My first time in modded Minecraft, so I'm going to be a little rusty. Uh, more tables should be the next one, which means we need all of these. Luckily enough, not enough items should help us with that. Um, parts. Here we go. Part table, this one. Requires wood. I could have guessed that. Can I grow a tree with coarse dirt? Yes, I can. I didn't know that. The most basic of crafting tables. But now we can craft things. Uh, parts table. What would that require? Blank pattern. What does a blank pattern require? Two blocks, two sticks. Okay. And parts table. What is this stuff in relation to? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, Tinker's Construct. I actually remember this mod. This mod was really popular. If you're curious about what version of Minecraft we're running, we're currently running 1.10.2, if I remember correctly. I should remember. I just had to sift through. Yeah, sift. <laughs> You'll get why that's funny in a second. I just had to sift through a bunch of touchpads and stuff to find the one we're currently using, which is... Currently, we're using, uh, the, I don't know how to pronounce that. I didn't go for any shaders because, one, I don't think there's any shaders for a Minecraft version that's this old. I may be wrong, but I can't imagine it. Uh, we also need a stencil table. 
Oh, I was confused for a second. I was like, didn't I just do that? No, 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 no. I did a log in a stencil because replacing the log with a wooden block so changes everything about it. Okay, uh, one stencil table, right. Uh, I think I know what that mod is. Uh, yeah, chisels and bits. It was actually used, no, I'm not gonna break that. It was actually used by, uh, Afmau. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm dating, well, ugh, dating myself, I'm only 20, Jesus. Oh, uh, right, I actually remember that. I, it's just been such a long time. Uh, it's getting nighttime. That's a little worrisome, because memory starts right. The mobs around here are actually pretty bad. Cartoon station, easy enough. Right, with Tinker's Construct, a lot of stuff is interconnected. So if it's touching, it's interconnected. It makes it so you don't have to go from one table to another to another, especially considering the fact that uh, a lot of the tables are needed over and over and over again to work the tools and such it's actually really useful um tool station hello pretty sure Ooh, you're creepy pretty sure so long as i stay in here i'm safe <laughs> oh they really want to get me if memory serves right the monsters in this mod pack are really freaking aggressive and really loud I didn't want to do that to you guys, but you guys are loud as hell. Uh, what was the last one? I've looked at this like 20 times. How do I not know? Uh, tool station, right. Mm. I'm off by one. Don't ask me who the hell would make a compressed crafting table. I'm off by one freaking block. Lovely. If I kill five things, I actually get a bunch of stuff. Oh, I think I got him one. I think I got two, another one, and another one. Okay, I think I got five. Four out of 50. What? I thought I had to kill five. Zero out of five tasks, four out of 50. Okay, I'm not punching 50 zombies to death. I've done a lot of masochistic, dumbass things in my time, but that will not be one of them. Just gotta wait for daybreak. I don't think I have enough materials. I know how to make the patterns themselves. Using blank pattern, put it into here, and put, say, ingots. Or a sharpening kit, whatever. Then I can make one of those. But without actual material to make that into something else, it's kind of pointless. God, look at this. So much stuff. Interestingly enough, it seems Pam's harvest craft is a little broken. That was weird. Whoa. Weird. That's weird. I'm getting lag spikes. Something spawned or is occurring that the game really, really doesn't like. Finally, you decide to kick in, and God, are you loud. I mean, sure, I should have you on. I'm pretty sure you're copyrighted. There's every possibility that has something to do with mods, but I don't know what exactly could be doing it. Why aren't you guys going away? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? I'm not dying. And this keeps happening. Why? There we go. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so, what, I looked it up real quick, and I found, I still have no clue what that is, I found that the mini-map level was referenced as causing issues. Everything else here wouldn't cause my system issues, but that, I don't know anything about it. I turn it off, and I'm fine. I can still feel a little chug because of the number of entities around me, but it doesn't matter how good of a PC you have. If you have too many entities around you, it's going to cause you a little stutter. Lower your 99s a little bit. What did I... Oh, yeah. Resource pack. Let's put that back on. That didn't crash my game this time. Well, that fixed it. Freaking minimap, man. Really? 
The minimap was causing that many issues. Strange. <laughs> if I can get my dirt in here, I can solve my issue, but I need to actually get my dirt. <laughs> okay. Strange performance issues. Hmm. Let's not call them performance issues anymore. Uh, strange issues aside, uh, let's go ahead and real quickly try to grow a tree in here. Let's see if that's even possible. If I can do this, I'm able to start working on the quest a bit better. Uh, sure, you go there. What? I don't even begin to know. So, at the very least, I now know that my first course of action should be trees. And as many of them as I can do. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, for a second I was getting worried. Worried. I thought I wasn't going to get another freaking sapling. What the hell is this from? Forest tree. That might actually be useful to my current endeavor, but I don't think it will be. Ah! Huh. Didn't realize that the plan we're on has a moon and a sun of it. Visible. <laughs> Lovely, how interesting. I'm sure the tidal currents would be very interesting on this planet if there was an ocean. Ah. That's okay. You set up all my bone mail, but I managed to get... Oh! Screw you! Freaking blood moon! Nope. Okay, well, uh, not including, I think, like, a few logs. I think I left, like, uh, yeah, I think I, actually, I don't think I left any trees out there. I think I got them all. Not bad. Some saplings out there that I'll miss, but I still got eight in here, which is good. Um, 52 wood. That should be more than enough to complete my task. Nice little pattern chest. Nice little pattern builder. And a stencil table. Quest complete. More tables. Got them all. Nice. Nice. See, that was so much faster than trying to fumble around with the previous world I was doing with. Nice. I get ten wooden planks and four blank stencils. And that unlocks some more quests. Nice. Okay, now other options and a variety very basics this has to do with tinkers and a few other things ah things that's how i do it but i'm gonna need silkworms which means i need a crook just a bunch of sticks how lovely nice and simple exactly what i need right now i remember in the yods cast series they moved like outwards and built walls and stuff but they had a persistent issue which would come up the if you haven't noticed the sandstorms that occur every so often those are actual sandstorms and they actually build up uh sand on whatever's around you which can be very very annoying at times because the sand will build up and build up and build up and build up and cover things and all sorts of stuff it's a pain in the ass so i'm actually gonna go the opposite direction i'm gonna go down I'm gonna make my base, for the most part, underground. Eee, perfect. Now, I think... If I put it right here, I think I should have enough space for a tree to grow. Uh, can I reach my crafting table from here? Nope, that's not it. Actually, yes I can! <laughs> because of the fact that they're connected. How lovely. There we go. Now I can get in out. Eventually, I'll knock out the entirety of the floor, but right now, it's a little more work that I want to deal with. That should work relatively well. Cool. It's a weapon? It's not that bad. No something like that. No something like that. And we got a wooden hammer. Nice. Kind of want to test it out a little bit. Hmm. I could have done more with a sword. <laughs> it's not that good. Let's not make a wooden wind wrench just yet. I want to see... Uh, heavy? There we go. The sieves. Okay, so I need that. There we go. That should be quest completed, right? 
No. Ah. And one dust. How the hell do I get dust? I'm assuming it's served. Yeah, we're not doing draconium infusion to make dust. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think I remember actually. I don't think this is a weapon. I think this breaks stuff down. There we go. Now I remember. Wait a minute. Nice. More dirt, more bone meal. Exactly what I needed. And I can actually use this bone meal and test out. Ow. I'm not sure this is enough. I don't know. I'll have to find out. And <laughs> yeah, you dunce. Of course it doesn't work well as a weapon. It's not a weapon. I have music turned off. Let's relog real quick, because I think I lost sound. Well, game sorted itself out, didn't out sound before, now I can hear the moans of the dead. <laughs> Lovely. I kind of regret bringing sound back. Gonna place Civ down there. Nice. Can't use it right now because I need a mesh to put in it, and to make a mesh, I need silk. To get, do silk, I need some other stuff. Interesting. They all died in the sun, but they didn't do that before. I'm gonna put that out there. Hopefully, they'll be able to actually grow. Not sure the one inside will grow or not. Let's see what else I can do while I wait. Really? Interesting. Stone greatsword? <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, what? What do you mean, stone greatsword? Stone greatsword. I can't exactly- I suddenly realize that's not as easy as it sounds. It's a stone greatsword. Where the hell do I get stone? Ah, lovely. Burning up. Ow. Ow. There's literally nothing I can do. Hey, got a barrel. Let's make two. What if I go down here? Ow. Hey, got tree done. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Crook. This. Come on, crook. Can I? Nope. Hey, there we go. Got one. Okay, I may need some level of protection outside because I do not think I can grow trees inside. Uh, where's that sand? I don't think it matters much. Sun's going down. I gotta get inside. Yeah, I don't think that tree's gonna grow in here, and I don't know why. There's no good reason for it not to grow, but we got some silkworms. Once I have another tree and leaves, I should be able to infest said leaves with said, uh, worms. Whatever. Protect and submit. Don't want that. You want it? Okay. How do I cook something? What the hell? Why do I have to eat a cooked silkworm? Hi. It's not every day you get visited by the spirits of your enemies. That's a new one. Saplings into a composter. I may be able to make more dirt. That would be lovely if I could get more saplings. Right now, my sapling supply is a little too limited to be dumping them all in a barrel. Hey, that is in this mod pack. See, I, I don't think the freaking sapling can grow in here it, I was wondering whether or not that was part of this mod pack if you're if you crouch then ow then it's able to help grow the freaking saplings I was hoping that was in here there we go yep it's in here love that okay um I actually need to do this nice exactly what I needed there we go. So that probably does mean the one in the ship would never have grown, which is annoying because it means I do need to change up my plans and actually account for having an outside area. Ah! 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 <laughs>
I was wondering what the sound and smell of burning flesh was coming from. There we go. Okay. Uh, I want to try and build at least some amount of a wall. Something to keep the monsters out. Ooh, look at that! Big freaking tree and it connected to that. That's going to be so good. Technically, this is what the Yodscast did, but I'm not doing it intentionally. I'm doing this out of necessity. Got enough sand here. Finish up the wall. Okay, well, and it's a few blocks short. I uh, can't necessarily light this space up, but I don't think monsters will spawn in here. Simply for the fact... Hey, there we go. Simply for the fact that I'm close enough to this area that I think it's within, like, the spawn protection due to me being too close. You know, kind of like how you have to have a mob farm a certain distance away from you, otherwise mobs won't be able to spawn. I think it's the same thing here. Ooh, that was a close one. Ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah, I should have seen that coming. Yeah. They're walking into the space because of the available uh, pathways on top of the ship itself. But, if you notice, nothing's spawning in that courtyard. So as soon as I'm able to secure that courtyard space in the morning, we will be absolutely solid. But I am actually kind of curious. I just realized all my food is currently on my body. Daytime cannot come soon enough. Ooh, I didn't even realize I got two iron ingots. That is actually really good. I'm gonna, <laughs> surprisingly enough, toss them in the crafter just to keep them safe. Not daft enough to keep all my freaking all my freaking gear on me. I don't get why some of you burn and some of you don't. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but a bunch of them are wearing freaking husk heads. I have to wonder if the freaking mod dev decided to do that to be like, oh, haha, ha, some of them look like they're perfectly normal us, except they don't burn. Yep, look at that. He dropped a freaking head. That is so much freaking strength. Okay, nice. We're actually making some progress, even if I'm currently stuck in a tree, slowly starving to death. And having to deal with the fact that this mod developer decided he want to be a real funny guy. Ooh, I didn't notice that. If your grave doesn't spawn on a block, your grave creates a block. Specifically a dirt block. That's actually really useful. And funnily enough, the hus... <laughs> in the very courtyard I'm using to protect myself against the hus, I've actually trapped a bunch of them. Which is extremely useful. Damn it. I'm sorry, the what? Compressed husk? What is a compressed husk? Wait, what? I'm confused. Went from being very annoyed at these husks to suddenly very confused and maybe slightly concerned for their safety. Come on, guys, tell me. Tell me who's hurting you besides me. Tell me who's, tell me who's compressing you poor bastards. No enemy should suffer a fate such as compression. Unless it's by Snoo Snoo, then it's perfectly fine. Okay, gonna do something a little bit different here. As long as that works. There we go. Nice. And, got a free bit of dirt. How awesome is that? And I'm starving to death. Again. Nothing should be able to get up onto this. And if I put it down all the way across here, I believe I have actually secured this entire space. The building sand will eventually be an issue, but luckily enough, I'll know when it's an issue. Because <laughs> I'll start seeing husks in the base again. Now I just need to deal with you mooks. Ah. <sighs> Hear that? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> We're husk-free, at least temporarily. Now I should be able to make wool for a bed. So I hopefully am able to sleep through the nights and not have to deal with husk building up all over again. 
Okay, now if memory starts right... Nope, that's not it. There we go. String mesh. And with that... If I take a sieve... Put a string mesh in it... Now... I can take something like... Dust. I don't seem to have. If I put some sand... Sand doesn't work. Take my hammer. Break this down to dust. And then... Hmm. Oh... How do I make a normal sieve? That may be my issue, because I'm pretty sure I made a heavy sieve. Uh, sieve. <laughs> Did the game just question me? I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just terrible at it. Would have been nice. Well, why did it have me make a heavy sieve if I can't use a heavy sieve? Put the mesh in there. Now. Ba -da 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 -da. There we go. And now. We get. Nothing. Huh. I feel like I'm supposed to. Ow. Get something. Oh. Got something there. Got pebbles? Huh. Did not expect to pull fruity pebbles out of the sand. No silver ore. Okay, so maybe I do need to do dust through the sieve. I'm getting... What am I getting? Uh, what can I throw out? Death note. Iron ore. Copper ore. Lovely. So I'm getting ores. I was hoping to get stone, though. I think I may have to process dirt for that in. Dirt's little... Well, I'm not particularly interested in depositing all my dirt and all my friggin' dirt into a sieve. Okay. Now I'm kind of annoyed by these infested weeds because I don't need them here and I don't have any good way to get rid of them. There. Now I can start producing saplings. I should take a look at the barrels. I think I have enough saplings that I can sacrifice a few just to process them. But we will see. Okay. That took eight saplings, but it is completing and turning into dirt, which is very useful. Just need to make sure I get enough saplings from everything else. This one should be done. Hey, we produced our first friggin' dirt. It only took like two hours. Oh God, one of the easiest things in the game. One of the first things you're supposed to do, and it took me two hours this does not bode well for my survival and these waypoints these freaking waypoints if i knew how to turn them off i would Ooh, no, no 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 that's very expensive piece of equipment and that right there is another dirt nice working really freaking well and no huss i'm perfectly safe out here Okay, I have enough trees and enough saplings. I am capable of trying to sift dirt. Ow. Right. By the time I eat this freaking apple, I will have respawned. <laughs> ah, son of a... I hate that I was right on that one. I knew it. I knew I was going to die before I was able to eat the freaking apple. Oh, right. It has that, doesn't it? So... In this mod pack, there's this funny little thing. Foods, yet you can only eat a food so many times and then you can't stand it anymore and you have to eat something else. Which is bad for me because I don't have anything else currently. So let's hope this provides me with something useful. I got stone pebbles. Uh, da, da. Got cobblestone. 
Okay. I need more dirt. I get enough cobblestone, I get a furnace. I get a furnace, I can cook some of these. I cook some of those. I can, disgustingly enough, eat them and provide myself with the next quest line. Oh, got a bunch of stuff on that one. Melon seeds, seed seeds, how lovely, and more stone. I don't think I'm gonna break down all of them immediately. I think I am gonna use, I think I will use some of them to produce more trees. Bump. The more dirt I add, the more trees I can produce. The more trees I can produce at any given time, the faster I can produce saplings, the faster I can produce dirt, the faster I can produce whatever the hell it's called, cobblestone, which I need to make a furnace. Specifically, I need eight of it, which means I need 36 pebbles to make eight stone. <laughs> at this point, death is relatively meaningless. Ah, look at that. Little grove of trees. Nice setup going. We're making all kinds of dirt and all kinds of progress. This was a royal pain in the ass, but it's been a fun royal pain in the ass. For right now, I'm going to leave this episode of Forever Stranded, a Minecraft modded series, off here. This has been a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed this. I'm excited to come back to this. I'm excited to start modded Minecraft. It's going to take a little bit for me to get used to doing this, but it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, there are other modded series, and there is my normal Minecraft series, all of which could possibly be going at the same time. If I'm maybe getting bored of Forever Stranded, I might move over to Twilight Forest or Crazy Craft or any other number of mod packs and start on them and then come back to Forever Stranded whenever I want to. It all depends on what whims I have. But yeah, for right now, I hope you all enjoyed this episode on Forever Stranded. If you did, there's a Discord and a playlist down in the description. One for watching the rest of the series, uh, the other for telling me any ways that you think I could improve or change the series, or just in general give me advice on how to best conduct the series, because this is something that I feel like has a lot needs a lot more input from you guys uh, to make it really successful for you. By the way, for right now, hope you all enjoyed uh, as well. Think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Or in that, be good, be well. Now I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.